So Anthony and I spoke for 20 minutes more than we planned. Um, because he often interrupted with a joke and a loud and daring laugh, <laughs> or to share an insight he had about the world. He was genuine and wise. He also witnessed the murder of his mother when he was nine years old. Then he moved in with his grandmother, and she took care of him, and they became really close. But two years after that, his grandmother passed away, and then he was being moved from house to house, trying to find stability, getting into trouble at school, stealing from the corner stores. When he was 25 years old, he was arrested for possession of cocaine and sentenced to five years in prison. That was 30 years ago. Now Anthony is 55 years old, and he's a really different person than he used to be. He's the father of two kids. In fact, when we spoke on the phone, he put them on the phone with me so they could tell me how they got straight A's on their report cards. <laughs> he's really proud of them, and he wants to make a good life for them. But he's been denied job after job after job because of the convictions on his record from 30 years ago. I'm so tired of this. I'm trying to get my life together, and my past keeps popping up. I know I made a mistake, but that was a long time ago, and I'm not that same person anymore. But every time I try to get it together, it's like I can't move forward. Having a criminal record, even for just one offense, can haunt you for the rest of your life. And this affects a lot of people. About one in four U.S. adults has a criminal record, and the American Bar Association found 44,500 different state and federal legal restrictions for people who have a criminal record. And employment is the biggest barrier, but there are others, like eligibility for food assistance or housing assistance. So these are things that would help you support your family. It can be really hard to get your life back on track far after you've paid your dues. The good news is, in 2014, California passed Prop 47, which says that people with felony convictions are now eligible, eligible to reduce those convictions, and there are many other statutes in California law that allow convictions to be dismissed completely. This makes about 2 million people in California eligible to clear their records. We were really excited about this. <laughs> Great, we thought 2 million people are going to get a second chance. So we rushed down to San Francisco Public Defender's Office, a few blocks away from Code for America, to see this exciting policy change in action. But then we found ourselves watching a How to Clear Your Record tutorial in a crowded waiting room of a free walk-in clinic that only happens one day of the week on Tuesday mornings from 9 to 11, watching applicants wait around for three hours for the one attorney assigned to Clean Slate on staff to speak with them. We found ourselves holding our breaths while shadowing interviews between public defenders and their clients, while public defenders patiently tried to explain the complexities of what's on someone's completely unintelligible and often incorrect criminal records. We were volunteering at Prop 47 fairs, wading through crowds of hundreds of people trying to fill out forms and answer legal restrictions that they didn't even understand. And we were sitting with public defenders, watching them shuffle through piles of paperwork, and listening to applicant stories about how they're in a really desperate situation. And they just feel beaten down. And we were only able to respond at that point with, I hear you, I'm really sorry. Most people drop out of the process before they've ever finished clearing their record. And in Los Angeles, only about 7% of people who are eligible have even started the process. And if you can get through the process of clearing your record, it takes about three to six months to do it in one county. But for applicants with convictions in multiple counties, which are about 41% of our applicants in San Francisco, they have to travel to each county they have a conviction in, figure out the very different process there, and start all over again. So the reality is California did open the doors for people to clear their records and get another chance. But very few people are actually doing it. Hi, I'm calling to see if I can expedite the process. I'll be facing bankruptcy if I don't get this job and they only give me 30 days to get this done. And I can't count how many times I've been disqualified from the position because of my criminal record. It's really hard to clear a record. 
And it's not because somebody decided to make this super difficult. It's that the policy was passed, and 58 counties in California were left to their own devices to figure out how to implement it on top of their existing casework. So we thought, what would it look like to do this right? What would actually giving someone a second chance look like? First of all, we thought actually giving someone a second chance probably starts with making the option accessible to them wherever they are. You wouldn't have to take a day off work, travel from county to county, wait in line, use a fax machine. Instead, they could just apply online from wherever they are by themselves or with a caseworker in a program they're already involved in from their phone or their computer in about 10 minutes. As I mentioned, 41% of our applicants have convictions in multiple counties. So we thought actually giving someone a second chance means not making them have to figure out the very different legal processes in every county in California. Instead, they could just select the counties they needed to apply to, and we'd do the work of figuring out what information they need to provide. We'd make sure all the questions were easy to understand, and we'd get their application to the right people. And lastly, we thought actually giving someone a second chance means not forgetting about the very hardworking people on the other side, the attorneys that are helping them out and processing their paperwork, representing them in court, and making sure that they have all the information they need to know when something's not working well so that they could fix it. You know what I think justice is? I think justice is getting the implementation right because we can all collectively agree that somebody should get a second chance. We can pass a policy that says someone should get a second chance. But when the implementation of that policy is so complicated that no one can actually get the thing, all someone like Anthony sees are false promises. I'm applying to clear my record because I've done my time, I've paid my fees, I've gone to court and complied with everything I needed to do. But now it's like I'm being punished for the rest of my life or for my first and only offense. I want to move on with my life and make an honest living and give back to my community. But it feels like I don't deserve a second chance. I feel like after all of my hard work, I deserve it. If we put just 100 formerly incarcerated persons back to work, it would increase their lifetime earnings by $55 million all while saving more than $2 million annually by keeping them out of the criminal justice system. So imagine how that would change things. If 2 million people were able to go back to work, 2 million people were able to support their families and give back to their communities, that's what justice looks like. We launched Clear My Record in April of this year, and now we're in three counties. Um, so far, we've increased the number of applications, we've decreased the time it takes to apply, and we've connected legal aid and public defenders across county silos. But most importantly, for myself, my teammates, and our partners, we've started to shed some light on the experiences of people who have a criminal record and the injustices that affect them far after they've served their time. Our goal is to implement policy and deliver services that send the message to applicants, you matter, you're not disposable, you're important regardless of your past, and the only way that our government works is if it works for you too. And so with that, I wanted to share one last message from our applicants. You know, I am not my past. I am not just what's on my record. I am, I am so much more than that. I am someone of worth, and I am going to contribute to this world. I, too, can bring change. Thank you.